Hey everyone, welcome back and in this video, let's just discuss one small trick which can help you increase your website performance a lot by optimizing the images on the website. So we have done a quick video, I think a couple of days back on images, how to optimize them, what are some core web vitals which you can improve by optimizing images and so on. So one of the things which I was asked or which seemed obvious also is that how do you actually implement those things because if you're running a website like CodeDam which might have thousands of images and all dynamic parts of images and so on then how do you actually optimize these images for latest format maybe sizes maybe you know caching just making sure that you're serving the best image possible and so on if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow so the way this works for code damn at least is we use a third party service a third party provider known as this images.vserve.nl so what we do is as following so let me just go ahead and actually inspect one of these images which you see over here and just copy let me just copy the src or you know copy the link address that's it so when i do that and when i paste it over here you're going to be seeing that we serve this image in a special format that is we have the images.vserve.nl and then we have a url parameter which includes the actual image URL. Now this actual image URL is the one which is hosted on S3, S3 bucket, right? Creatorassets.codedam.com. It's an S3 bucket, but we don't serve it directly from S3. Why? Because we are missing all the optimizations, you know, the width and the height, the size optimization, the quality, the compression optimization, the CDN optimization, and the overall full optimization of the image. But if we use something like images.vserve.nl, we can actually dynamically resize and cache and manipulate images on the fly so the way this website works is that it's a free service and they basically provide you a lot of options to play with so for example you can specify different different widths and heights you can specify device pixel ratio like we mentioned earlier you know in that last video where you don't necessarily have to just give high quality image to every single person you can specify how your website's images fit in terms of you know the dimension of the images you can specify what the size of the image should be cover fill fit contain all of those things which you do mostly with css you can also do with the service you can crop your images that's also interesting like whatever way you want so what these services do and this is not a unique service there are services which exist like this but this is the only one which i found out which is not self-hosted i mean you can self-host this one as well but this also provides their own api and it's it's 100 free so i really like using images.vserve.nl but for anything more serious obviously you should host it on your own that's completely fine as well but they for the most part would get your job done if you are using it in a simple project or a simple basic website now for us because we use next.js it was relatively easier for us to shift all the images to go via images.vserve.nl because we created our custom loader and custom image component in itself and used this sort of loader where it starts with images.vserve.nl url and then the src and the width and the quality which next.js already provides out of the box so the reason we had to do it with next.js is because number one obviously when we migrated to aws we did not have the next.js inbuilt image compression thing because that's coming from Vercel, right? And second of all, Vercel is just, just way too expensive with images also. It charges you like what? I think $5 for nine or well, five, 6,000 images. I, I don't know the exact number, but it's, it's ridiculous pricing in terms of image compression as well from Vercel. One of the things I hate about that platform is their pricing for small to medium sized companies. But yeah, I mean, this is, this is a great alternative, much better than using nothing. So if you're using nothing, you should probably try to shift to a service like this. A similar product which comes to my mind is also Cloudflare Images. So there are these solutions available, uh, but again, this is kind of paid in a way, right? And I think that you also have to upload images on Cloudflare itself, if I'm not wrong. So it's not the API based thing which we talked about. It's more about storing and stuff. So yep, I mean, a service like this is the best thing you can do because you can keep your images somewhere else, whether that's an S3 bucket, whether that's some other sort of storage, you use it dynamically to resize and upscale and downscale and pixelate and crop and adjust your images and then serve them via CDN. In case of images.vserve, they 
cache everything on Cloudflare CDN. So that's again an awesome thing to have. So yep, that's how this works and that's how you can optimize your images in a quick and smart fashion. If you learned something new in this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That is all for this one. I'm gonna see you in the next video really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching.